Everything produced and seen here is made on this farm. There we go, 12 quid. That's unbelievable. So Josh and I were at the TV last night. We were wondering where should we go tomorrow? We were both watching season two of the Diddley Squat Farm. So we were fuck it, we'll come in. Food review, let's go and try out the cafe. They've also opened their brand new restaurant. We're gonna go and try a little bit out. I've seen a couple of cows, so I've probably seen a couple of the brothers and sisters. Now let's go and see what the brother and sister taste like. That sounds a bit weird, doesn't it? Anyway, come with me. What's the time? 10.43 in the morning. It's five o'clock somewhere, right? First time on this channel, beer review. This is their like premium one, the original, they said. Nice, fresh, what you want. Not too, um, not too heavy, you know? What's it, like 4.5%, 4. 4. I think it was? Lovely drop. There's actually quite a few things here that are spicy. So we've got some spicy beef jerky, got like a spicy chili bowl. It, it doesn't start until 11.30, so we had to wait, we had, we were forced to wait 45 minutes and have, have a beer. beer. Yeah. It, 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 we didn't want to, didn't want to, but we, we had to pass some time. But yeah, that's it. We'll get into the food review in a bit. They ain't shy, are they? Seven quid. Look at it, because that's good. That is good, isn't it? That is good. Right, we thought, whilst we're waiting, stop drinking, more eating. Review number one. The breakfast. Look at this, <laughs> the sausage wrap. This is made here. A good seven pound well spent. I do love a sausage sandwich and they're not shy. I hate when places go and they're just shy with the sausage and cut it up into like nine bits and slice it across. Like they are. Look at that. That is. Quality's up there. Mm, that's, that's good. That's a 8.5 out of 10. Good start. Oh, wow. Review number two, Jeremy's Hot Beef Jerky. I wonder if these were made with uh, Jeremy's own chilies. That is season two, no? Oh. Mm. Oh. Oh, 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 a bit lively. It is a oh. bit lively, mm. it is a bit. This is actually really good jerky, really good jerky. Um, Sun's really coming out now. Yeah, I know. Glistening, glistening. Oh, that's really nice. I'm gonna to have to give it a flat eight. Flat out of 10. Instagram worthy, look at it. I need to get a photo of this before we do anything. Josh, get in on this, get in on this. Woo. Look at that, look at that, there we go. Proper homemade Just explain chili. what you got, what have you got? Oh yeah, I didn't even explain it. Chili, like a chili con carne essentially, but like, Apparently it's spicy, everything's made here. So the beef was obviously, I don't know, grown and killed here. Um, then we've got the bean. I don't know about the beans, that's a good one. The beans, the kidney beans. But anyway, moving on, chilies are done here. These are fresh made on this farm. Everything produced and seen here is made on this farm. There we go. Uh, 12 quid. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, Jeff. There is so much flavor in this. Oh, wow. Let's get a bit of that bread on there. This is gonna absolutely kill me, but I've never, met, I've never had a chili like this. Oh. Mm, wow. It's quite rich. Peppers, the beans, the sour, is it um, sour cream? Yeah. Oh. That is absolute 12 pounds. That is a proper hearty meal. They are, oh wow, there's just so much flavor in here. Should we get a bit of that mayo in there? Ready? Yeah. I'm not. <laughs> the chili, the chili mayo. Perfect, a little bit of sweetness on the mayo. Oh mayo. This is, this is worth coming up here for. Absolutely beautiful. Hartley Mill, not too spicy. Cold day, this will warm you up. Hear my words come up, put a spicy meal on the menu. Beautiful. Chip in Norton, absolutely lovely day. Beautiful area. It is a beautiful area. We're just, we're just admiring the houses around here. He's created a really good business here. You've got to give it to, you've got to give it to Clarkson. 
There's nothing going on in this town apart from what he's built here at the Diddley Squad. I'll be honest, it is. There's nothing. It's dead, isn't it? We just went through the town, didn't see one person. I think they're all here. Yeah, look, you can actually see it. Josh, zoom in. All of those cars there over here. Right down the road, the whole way up to here. And the oh, car park's oh. full. Car park, yeah, well, car park's rammed, so they're always parking up the road. And I can see probably why he's getting a bit of, um, why the locals don't like it, but sod the locals. He has built your, he's put your, no one heard of Chipping Norton until Jeremy Clarkson created a whole documentary on it. So thank him. Thank you, Jeremy. That's what you should be doing. All this negativity, you should be praising him. You should be getting on your knees and giving him the gobble. You're going to absolutely love it. Oh. Mm. Right, the cafe, good, I like it. It's not too busy that you wait in ages. I think good value, that was 12 pound. The beers were four, five, five pound. Good value, I think. The perks of obviously having it all made here, there's no middleman, they can cut out a lot of the cost to sell people, get better value for their money. Keep the quality as well. Yeah, the quality's there. Like you said, it's literally all made within three miles of where I'm sat. Maybe, yeah, probably less than that. Good value, good food, good drink. Um, right, Josh, you're gonna, after three, so one, two, three, then a number, we're both gonna say a number for this, because you, now you've had it. All right, ready? One, two, three, 9.1. Ah, 8.5, and I said 9.1. There we go, 8.7. It's really good, 12 quid, nice and spicy. It's not overpowering, even Josh had it. It was good. Why are you spicy food? You we don't eat spicy food, bruv. But yeah, it's good. All right, let's go inside. I want to go to the cafe. No, you want to go to the... I want to go to the shop. <laughs> Car. In for the queue, look at it. Look at the queue. You love Jeremy sausage? I love, I love Jeremy sausage. All those people that say, oh, Chris, people don't like spicy food. This just shows people do, all right? Do I go habanero or do I go ghost chilies hotter than habanero, right? It's still everywhere. What are you doing? Uh, just waiting for it to steam, to clean. You don't want any uh, bad milk, do you? There we go. Getting my cow spunk, cow juice. I think that's done now, right? Reckon? Yeah. There we go. Turn you later. Get through the other way. Mrs. can go shopping at Selfridges. I go shopping at Deadly Squat. Successful trip, I would say. Got a, it's been 90 quid. Um, don't don't tell Lauren wedding. But um, I want to get milk. Got two crates of beer. I got some chilies, some chili jam, some banana milkshake, some cow spunk, some good food. Great food, to be fair. The food was absolute. Juice. That's the same thing. You got to wank off a cow and you get you get cow milk, don't you? I've been, I've been excited about this and after last night, we didn't know where to go film today. Dublin was on the cards, Milan was on the cards and we end up coming to the Cotswolds for Diddley Squat and look at it, absolute vibe in place. Pop it off. Anyway, show some love, hit the subscribe. What are you reviewing? Well, I've reviewed it, no? I haven't given it a number to score for the overall. Oh, you want the overall? Overall experience. Um, it's good, it's pricey, it's not a cheap date, but I suppose you're paying for the quantity, uh, the quality of the food. Uh, I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10. I think this is an eight out of 10. I think it's, a, it's been a good day. Friggin' Ramo though, and it's not, well, for me, what was it a three hour trip for us to get here? Um, show some love. Where shall I review next? And hit subscribe. Come on, Josh, we gotta go.